Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to rotate your logo in After Effects. Today I want to share with you Mark Brooks. He's the brand director at Behance, the famous online portfolio platform. He is going to teach you how to build a killer portfolio and how to showcase in a digital format some of your best projects. Discover principles to keep in mind when organizing your portfolio. Learn how to highlight your best work and showcase the kind of projects you want to be hired for. Explore the parameters to keep in mind when deciding what to include in your portfolio and experiment with presenting your work for a professional looking end result. I personally watched this course, took his advice and implemented it in my portfolio on Behance and I'm super happy with the end result so far. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description to see it. Now let's get back to our tutorial. Step, export your logo from Adobe Illustrator in a vector file. So go to File, Save As and select the AI Adobe Illustrator and click Save. From here, we're gonna go back to After Effects and drag the logo right here. And also I'm gonna make a new composition, go to Composition, New Composition. I'm gonna go with uh, 1080p's and three seconds. Click OK. So I can drag the logo right here. Uh, right click on the logo, go to Create, Create Shape from Vector Layer. So as you can see, we got this logo right here. I can uh, change the color also from black. So go to fill, click on the fill. I'm gonna go with white, click OK. And I gotta scale it down also. Press and hold shift now and you don't distort it. I'm gonna go with this size. So from here, we're gonna activate this 3D option here, this little cube. And also make sure that uh, the render is on Cinema 4D. Click on it. Usually it's on classic 3D and change it to Cinema 4D and click OK. From here, just right click here somewhere and go to New, select a camera. We got the camera right here, click OK. You know, we're gonna rotate this logo in perspective now. So go here and select the Orbit Camera Tool. And I'm gonna rotate it a little like this. I'm gonna go back to the Selection Tool and I'm gonna go to the Panther logo and go to the Geometry Options. And we got here the Extrusion Depth. I'm gonna go with um, 150. So as you can see now, it made it thick. I'm gonna pull this back. And from here, we're gonna create a Spotlight on this. So right click here somewhere, go to New and select Light. Make sure you're on the spotlight and you also can increase the intensity or something. I'm gonna go with 200, click OK. As you can see, the light is shining from this side now and I'm gonna change that a little more. So I'm gonna click and drag and go around. I also need to pull this. So it's basically shining from above. From here, I'm gonna go to the logo and press R for rotate. And we're gonna rotate the Y rotation. So activate the stopwatch, click on it. And I'm gonna go all the way to the end, to the third second. And enter here where the zero is, number one. Click on enter. I'm just gonna pull this out a little more. Okay, I'm gonna pull this back and hit play and it's going to rotate like so. You can also slow down the process by, you know, increasing the timeline from three to, I don't know, four or five seconds. So I'm gonna stop it, go back to composition, composition settings, change the time. I'm gonna go with five, I'm gonna go with six. Why not? Click on a, click OK. And you can see now this handle is here. I'm gonna pull this all the way out and I'm just gonna make this to the full and also pull out the diamond all the way out and now as you can see it goes a little bit slower and this is how you rotate your logo in after effects thanks for watching and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye